actually four. Now we are. Okay. My foot pressure was what? Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to welcome you and call to order this meeting of the Bethel Public Utilities Commission for Monday, February 3rd, 2020. Please rise, join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, no public input this afternoon. No court, nothing in the correspondence came in late. So, so I will uh, call for a motion to accept the minutes of the regular meeting of January 6th. 2020. Mm -hmm. Second. All right. Are there any corrections, comments to these minutes? And hearing none, mm -hmm. uh, those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Any abstentions? I was here. Oh, everybody was here. That carries. Uh, item number two financial report. Okay, I, um, I just handed out the reports. <coughs> to start off with, if you look at the net revenue in, in water, um, that's overstated. If you go to page uh, 8 at this point, in the sewer department, there was a missed posting of, uh, of $287,504. That was the payment to the town of Bethel for uh, the sprinkler and hydrant fee for the year we paid in December. So really, the revenue on uh, the water department, since it was posted to sewer, should come down from 782 to 494, and the sewer department, which is 452, should go up to 839. Um, so I just wanted to make you aware of that that change. Uh, things are moving in the right direction with the revenue at 494 compared to uh, November at 614. That makes sense because we're going to be doing uh, the bills and we'll be collecting in the next couple of months. So you got expenses against what was in the account <coughs> at this point. And when you look at uh, the water department, there were, um, in the capital uh, side, you have uh, Grasso that was paid 143000 True Blue, 16000 Right Pierce, 14000 Then, as we had in uh, the past, uh, the Ford, the, the trucks to Gangrus was 25486 and right here is another 33000 So when you look at um, the capital improvements of um, 232000 that's the breakdown of those numbers there. Um, moving on to sewer, which is on page 6. Um, again, everything is, is going in the right direction. There's a net now of um, should be 839 not 452 and that's up from 614 in November. The details of the capital are uh, pretty much on page 8. Um, what was misposted, well, first of all, the misposting of uh, utilities, but then on page 9 is the capital improvements. So you got Western Samson for 84,000, Ford again for 35, and then Western, it's in a separate account for another 20. Um, that adds up to your um, capital improvements. Uh, of 130,000, and the difference is the payment to the city of Danbury for the first quarter of 213. So that's going to be coming up soon for the second payment, pretty soon. But other than that, everything else tied out, and um, I'll, I'll make that correction. I'll Brad make that correction tomorrow for the um, payment of the, the hidings and sewers from uh, the sewer into the, the water department. So that's about it. Bob, um, you said the 25. Was for the Ford truck. Right. Yeah, there's um, uh, twenty five thousand four hundred eighty six dollars. Yeah. We don't split that between the well. The water the other, there is a piece on the other side too. That's um, Gengrich. I think it was Gengrich. Tom. Uh, that used to be Crowley. Yes. Crowley Ford. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's Gengrich. Yeah. So it is a, it, it's split between the two departments. So um, you have uh, 25486, and then you have the other piece on uh, uh, the water side. <clears throat> um, for water department, what did you say that the net revenue is for for water and sewer? The corrected net revenue should be 839527. 839527 mm -hmm. for water. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, 494567. Sure. 494567. 494567. Mm -hmm. 
And net revenue for sewer? 839527 I think that one's 739 Bob. Is it 7? Yeah, because you're, you're adding in 287. 6739 you're right. Correct. 739 739 for sewer, right? Correct. I'll, uh, I'll correct that, um, those pages and I'll send it out to everybody Pardon me? Okay. tomorrow. Bob, not to belabor it, but the, the trucks, was, it, was that two trucks? There's two trucks this year. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, two trucks. I think okay. the original trucks actually got paid in July. I think it carried into go. this fiscal year. Okay. Is what happened. Just, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's showing up in this report, in this year's yeah. report. Okay. Were they both, both <coughs> uh, 19 trucks or 18 trucks? Or just, just to identify it, so. I think they're both the same year. I think they're, I think they're both 2019. Or maybe just the Because we put in, we put in. Maybe the month we purchased it, so it, it would clarify. You see it twice in the sewer. I'm, it's I'm the same amount, 25, I'm yeah. sure you have two separate entries. Yeah, two yeah, separate yeah. Dates. yeah. So, no. you, okay. You, yeah. All right. Um, I'll put a motion on the floor and we accept the financial report for 12 31 19. Second. Any uh, discussion? Any other questions for Bob? All right. Hearing none, those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 That carries. Uh, invoices. Uh, to put this on the floor, I'll make a motion that we approve invoices dated February 3rd, 2020, in the amount of 237746 and 25 cents. Second. Okay, so I'll give you a couple minutes to go over this. Uh, any, 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 Tom or Bob, any particular issues to point out that with these? Uh, no, basically you see the two Grasso payments, uh, item number three, uh, for the 214, that's basically his final, um, you know, the, his final uh, invoice. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we held the retainage off of that. And then I did item number four. I did the retainage as a separate invoice because we'll, we can approve both of these, but I'm, 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 I'm going to hold the retainage still. We'll, we'll pay him his, the, the item number three. Item number four retainage, we're going to hold that till at least into the spring. Well, let's not put it on. Yeah, we're, yeah, there really is any reason to, to approve it if we're gonna if you need to hold it for a while longer. Is there? Um, well, I want to submit it to the state before they close the loan. So oh, okay. That that's why I'm hustling to get that one in there. Um, I, I kind of did Briarcliff that same way. Okay. So that I could submit for the retainage because the loan's gonna close relatively soon. Okay. And and we're gonna pay them long there at not long thereafter but thereafter. Yeah. Okay. All right, I get it. Marty, my famous question to you, did you look at the contracts or when, when you approve the contracts for these guys in the retainage, do we hold a retainage for six months or a year? I mean, normal construction, they would hold retainage for a year. I don't know. I don't remember, to be quite honest. I'd have to go back and look. Well, and, and I think mean, we can make sure that that's in the future. I don't know. Yeah, in the future. Yeah. Make sure that it's in for the future contracts. For a year? Well, I mean, it's up to the board, but uh, I would normally, it's a, it was always a year for uh, subs, for a retainage. Re re I, I, I believe it's in there for a year. I'd have to go back and actually flip through the contract and find it, but yeah, I think we have it in there for a it, year. It was always the year after substantial completion when yeah, was, I, was the wordage, but I mean, I don't know if you do that for utilities, but... You don't have to. You normally, I would want to hold it at least through the winter months on whatever got paved. Mm -hmm. So I would be okay releasing it. I, I wouldn't necessarily hold it till next December. Right. We're going to know if the pay payment's going to settle before well, then. I mean, it's a discussion we can have in the future, but you know, maybe six months or we we need to come up with some language that's make sure it's in the contracts yep. uh, for future. Yeah, no, it is in the contract. It, 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 there, it's in there, and I'm pretty okay. sure it's a year. Okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. Any other questions for Tom? 
Okay. Hearing none, uh, those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? That carries. Uh, director's report. Tom, you're up again. Okay. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick update. Last uh, month, you asked me to compare the, um, the actual costs versus what the bid uh, amounts were. And on the one we are just talking about there, the 2018 water mains, um, what I gave you last, uh, last meeting was an estimate. And, and I overestimated a little bit. We actually paid them a little bit less. So what I want to say for this month is the actual amount of work that Grasso did on that project was 850732 And the bid amount was, um, with one change order, was 940000 so in effect, we didn't quite do all the work that was estimated <coughs> based on, you know, rock removal that we didn't have to do. So we basically came out ahead of the game, and that it didn't cost us as much as we, you know, uh, what we had anticipated. Could you give me that number again? Eight yeah, five zero. The actual was eight five zero seven thirty two. I'll leave off the okay. change. Okay. So I just wanted to give you that update. Um, the next update is on Maple Wells, number one and two. Uh, the keypad control unit for the uh, variable frequency drive was installed. Uh, we ran two in the system without any issues um, last week. And the, uh, the well drilling company, Dennis L. Marr, is available and they're going to be in town starting <coughs> that as early as Wednesday, but he anticipates more likely Thursday. So mm -hmm. we're actually going to start on those redevelopments this week. Mm -hmm. Something we've been <laughs> working towards since, I think, November. Mm -hmm. uh, lastly, for uh, my director's report, sanitary sewer, the rehab project, uh, the contracts have been signed, um, and we're coordinating with uh, National Water Main Cleaning. We're going to set up a uh, pre-construction meeting probably next week, and uh, we'll be able to get a schedule and submittals from them. So. Hopefully, we'll get going on that project here in the next in the coming weeks. Okay. All right. Good. Any and questions for Tom? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> did you talk to uh, to Marco in reference to the water and sewer ownership? Yes. He has no problem. He's going to give us a, he's going to give us an easement. We'll take over ownership. And he's going to give us something. Okay. Yeah. You ready? Okay. Yeah. So he'll work out however that easement's going to be. Right. Okay. Good. All right. Moving on. We have nothing under new business. No, uh, no late breaking uh, items. So go moving on to old business. Uh, Tom, give us an update on the uh, QBS process. Okay, we we uh, sent out our request for qualifications. I think five firms uh, received them. Uh, we received back two responses: uh, one from Wright Pierce, one from Weston and Sampson. Uh, the the um, selection committee looked them over. We scored them both and. The consensus was that Wright Pierce had the uh, was the preferred uh, contractor at this point. Um, so my next step is to uh, prepare a uh, request for proposal for them to submit, and I'll have another conversation with the health department in terms of uh, whether or not uh, we need to interview both companies, or if after we interview our top contender, it, it, does that satisfy their <coughs> requirements? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, was there a big difference in the qualifications? Um, I, I think they're both qualified. I mean, we're using Weston and Samson on our, uh, on our wastewater side. Um, th they have experience. They've done those kinds of projects. Um, I think Wright Pierce, I think uh, their proposal was maybe a, a little bit more in depth than that. I think they had a little bit more, you know, uh, particular knowledge of the projects at hand. The thing that struck me when I looked over the two proposals was the, uh, the amount of the, the variability of the resume and Wright Pierce. Mm -hmm. They had done a lot more work in, in the areas that are important and the, the depth of their staff because they have uh, like seven or eight people who on their own personal resumes can list Town of Bethel work that they've already done, mm -hmm. done work on and plus uh, other clients in Connecticut, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, you know, Rhode Island. So, uh, Weston and Sampson was a, a, was a fine proposal, but we, you, Wright Pierce just went many steps beyond that uh, in terms of uh, what they had to offer. So, 
I, I scored them a little higher for that reason. Well, the only know. reason why I asked the question is that, not that I don't like them, is that we do a lot of work, constant work with them. Mm -hmm. We're, you know what I'm saying? We're, yeah. once we have other projects, to see if we can shove some in the other direction. You know what I'm saying? We're constantly working with the same engineers all the time. Yeah. That's all. Mm -hmm. the, the one other thing they had, I think, on their side, too, was uh, on, on the, uh, the, um, the revolving fund with the state. Yeah. They, they had a lot more projects listed in Connecticut. They, and yeah, their familiarity yeah. then with the staff right. up in Connecticut, I okay. thought, yeah. was another, you know, a little, yeah. little no, bit no, higher step up yes. on their end. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because I, I noticed that, too. So. And, and Weston and Samson is doing the sewer, so it, you get two different engineers. Yeah. That they don't have the whole ball of wax. So yep. that's. Okay, any other questions for Tom on that? All right, moving on, uh, PUC Capital Project. Summary. Okay, um, the Chestnut Tank. Uh, we've been through and gotten the uh, um, the OKs from Board of Selectmen and the Board of Finance. I think the special town meeting and, and referendum are, are set to be scheduled here shortly. Tomorrow night. Scheduled um, tomorrow night, not occur tomorrow night. Right. Um, we're 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 targeting March tenth for the referendum, which I've worked out with the town clerk's office. You're shaking your head. Uh, I don't know if I'll be back by then. That's when that big trial is supposed to start. Um, I, we'll talk about it later then because I've got about a week's flexibility. I, yeah. I could go a week later, maybe even two. I, I have to talk okay. to the registrars about that. Tomorrow night we have? Yeah, that'll be on the agenda tomorrow night. Okay. But I'll, I'll have a recommendation for you then. So, go, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Go ahead. No problem. Uh, Bergstrom Well. We had a meeting with uh, DPH. Um, they actually brought in just about all of their staff that reviews these things. And, 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 and a really good thing they did too was they had a couple of people from uh, D uh, Department of Energy and Environmental Protection <coughs> there. They, they ha they've had, <coughs> traditionally have had more of the groundwater experts and they've looked at a lot more of the, uh, the analysis on the groundwater. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it gave DPH a comfort level also having their expertise there. Bottom line was the, uh, the way we presented um, what we think we can uh, successfully uh, pull from that well, um, uh, the 800 gallons per minute as a safe yield, mm -hmm. um, they've, they've approved it. Okay. So I think it was a pretty good uh, a meeting that we had with, with all of them. They had given us a, a ten, you know an approval prior on just a cookbook formula. They took our pumping rate and applied a fa you know uh, they multiplied it by 0.75. They just reduced it by by 75 percent. Mm -hmm. And the other way they can go about it, which I, I don't think they've ever actually approved a well, was to go through the analysis by a, a, a hydrogeologist. Mm -hmm. So uh, by looking at what Wright Pierce did for us and 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 what we presented to them, they went ahead and accepted it. So wow, good. So I think that was helpful. Um, the 2019 water main uh, replacement project, we've signed contracts with um, Earth Movers, and um, I'm working with their people uh, as far as just coordinating the submittals and hopefully get a uh, start of construction date from them here coming up. Okay. Uh, and as we talked about on the Grasso project, the 2018 water mains, they did their final paving submitted their final uh, request for payments, um, which we've now accepted, and I'll be go ahead and uh, forwarding that to the state so that we can get reimbursed as well. Okay. And mm -hmm. lastly, our generator projects, um, I, I haven't had any progress uh, yet to date at this point. When do you anticipate earth movers to move on the water main project? Um, we, we, as we talk about with the water main projects, as you get into the winter months, um, we, we went ahead and, and it helps to uh, basically give them like a, like a winter shutdown period, which yeah. we've gone, gone ahead and approved. And then th that allows them, if they can get some work done in the wintertime, they can kind of get a, a little bit ahead of the clock. Right. Yeah. So they do anticipate doing some work here coming up. I don't have a firm date from them. I would expect in February they'll, they'll probably get started. Start unless later in the month we get hit with a, <coughs> with a real bad cold snap. But the way things are looking, I, I think they'll probably be able to start in the next... I would guess at two to three weeks. Okay. Good. All right. Cool. Okay. All right. Um, Kelly's not here, so uh, yeah, Kelly went home a little sick. I asked him. Um, 
Anything? Uh, the Wells update I gave, um, he talked about last time some of the, um, the reading devices that we have on our meters. Yeah. A lot of them failed based on now they're all 15 to 20 years old. So I think he mentioned that at the last meeting. Do we need to replace the units? We're going to need to replace the units, and we're probably going to have to work out something with maybe a contractor to give us some some help in terms of just manpower. Sure. You know, so we're going to try to get a couple of proposals and and, yeah. and, and see uh, what we can do there. Right now, tax collector is prepared to uh, to issue estimated bills on any of the ones that we were not able to get a read. Yeah. So. It, it's probably going to be about what the readings would have been anyway. A lot of mm -hmm. those accounts, it's it's not difficult for her to yeah. come up with a, what the estimated reads would be. Yeah. And then that'll catch up once we have those devices installed. So. Right. Okay. It, is it the reader that's going bad or the, the meters? No, it's, it's, it's the readers. So we, we don't have to replace the meters, just correct. The transmitter. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, they're wired up to the, you know, to the... Is there newer technology now that we could utilize uh, on them? And uh, you, you, well, we have radio. We're, we're getting the reads by, by radio as we drive through. Right. Um, but I think those actual devices that are transmitting the read, is, you know, the meter's got the read on the dial, and then the, the reader on the, on the side of the house is what transmitted to our receiver as we drive by. It's those devices. Mm -hmm. So it's so the units on the side of the house. Correct. It's not, it, not the tran the inducer or whatever it is. Correct. It's the readers on, yeah, the, on the side of the house okay. or in the pit on pit meters. Okay. okay. It's not the meter itself, right? It's just Correct. The it's, it, it's just the just, reader. Correct. Right. And how much are the readers? Um, I think I heard Kelly saying they might have been about 100 bucks. Okay. Don't hold me to that, but I'd, I'd have to look back at an invoice and see what they are. How many meters do we have out? Roughly. Um, how many meters in our system? No, no, how many are failed? I, I think they're, they're on the order of five to 600. Okay. Now, we've, we've lost some of them in dribs and drabs along the way, but this past reading period, we got hit with a bunch. <coughs> All right, so how many are there in total? That are out? Yeah. Between no. five, no, no, some, some, about 500, give or take. In the system. No, uh, oh. in, total in the 30. system, I think we have 3,500 meters. Yeah. yeah. I think so we, that's a huge percentage. we bought them with Judy Novacek, was first election. Yeah. Early 2000s, yeah. I want to say. With yeah. some thousand dollars, we were supposed to pick up anywhere between 25 and 35 percent increase in revenue, which never generated 25, 35 percent in revenue. Was it, it was a bill of goods, yeah. Huh. Wow. Yeah, they were put in with no check was. Oh yeah, I know, but why was yeah, so is that just like the number of well, the meters that couldn't be read because nobody was home to let them in? Well, no, what happened was they were saying the meters were slowing down, we're not getting the actual readings, and oh. the guy from the meter company come in and goes, Well, these new meters are gonna pick up anywhere from twenty five to thirty five percent, which was a fallacy. It never really happened. So at the time you replaced the meters yep. and the right. readers. Yeah. Right. Now what's happening is the, the readers that are sending out the signal to us are, are failing. Yeah. Okay. We're also going to, we're checking with them too to see if there's any kind of a, you know, um, uh, discount in terms of quantity, which yeah, you got to ask any, you got to ask. in the mail, I know. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's on the truck. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> All right. Well, it concludes our agenda. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Mm -hmm. Second. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Wow. Less than 30 minutes. That's a new record. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kelly wasn't here, that's right.